to load. How's it, buddy? How are you doing? Damn, it's good to be back after three months. Jason Yang says hello. Regan Phillips says hi, Guru. How are you? I'm doing very well, guys. It's my comeback today after my three months ban. And I'm just happy to be back. So for tonight's stream, we're going to do a rugby challenge four. Um, Please go ahead and tell me what you guys want to see and I'll be more than willing to do it for you guys. The Pro 14 final is tomorrow. Can't wait, says Gregor Galway. Yeah, I'm actually going to be able to do live streams on the rugby games again. Well, when I say again, I'm actually meaning for the first time because I haven't done it it's because of the live stream that I got banned in the first place because I tried to stream um, the live really game, but I'll obviously not do that again. Um, how's your day been? It's been busy. I've been working my butt off as of late, so yeah, it's just nice to, to chill a little bit and have a little bit fun and chatting to you guys so what shall we do let's do a south africa versus england can you do blues versus storm ah, and play as jason stormers? yang says can you do blues versus stormers and players the stormers we can surely do that um let's go and take on the blues so we're going to keep it 10 minutes on pro difficulty. So yeah, let's get into this. So guys, as you guys know, I'm nearing a thousand subscribers now. So if there's any of you guys that I know anybody so that would like my channel, please do recommend it to them so that we can get there as quickly as possible. Robert. Brietzka says hi how are you doing so what do you think about the online yeah it's it's been difficult Robert um, you've had some decent connections with with local players and then I've had some decent connections with with the UK players as well but yeah, same problem as Rugby Challenge 3, unable to, to get a good connection with the New Zealand based players as well as Australia and Asia. So it kind of sucks. And then my Wi-Fi connection not strong enough, so most of the time it says live streams are back. How are we? I'm good, Scott. Finally. Thank goodness after three months being down and out. Um, I didn't even get a chance. I didn't know what hit me because it's one thing to get a copyright strike but it's a total different thing to get a strike on your live stream because for that reason you just cannot stream at all. Robert says yeah it sucks lol and you have to wait so long for a game. Yeah, it is. Um, I'm kind of looking forward to playing with up to eight players. Um, something that I could find potentially really fun if you can play with up to eight players. Um, Warrior Warrior says hi. Can you like set your kicker like rugby challenge three in the pocket? Yes, you can. Um, Regan says, do you think Rugby Chance will have more updates? No, definitely they must. Um, it, I think it will be unforgiving if they don't do another update real soon. Because they've got a good blueprint, let's be honest. Um, Rugby Challenge Series got a really, really good blueprint for a good game. But yeah, they're just freaking lazy, you know. Terri terribly, terribly lazy. There's so much that they can improve in this game. Um, I'm thinking of doing a video t 
to just explain what they doing wrong. Oh it goodness. Like the Afro with full team of players. Be team of players. Yeah, but I don't think they've got the co the co uh, <sighs> capacity for that. Um, they hardly have a, a good server for for up to eight players. So yeah, it's going to be interesting to see how they're going to implement that going into the future. You know, because I just felt that they needed to have a much better server in order to do that, and clearly they don't have. So so yeah. Can you show oh boy, oh boy, there we go, good tackle. <laughs> um, rugby is back, what games have you been watching? Well, Scott, to be honest, I haven't watched a lot of rugby as of late. Um, I watched Super Rugby Aotearoa, um, up until the point where I just didn't get time to actually watch it. So, so yeah, basically after that I just haven't had time, I've been so busy with other stuff, but I mean now that I can do the live streams, I'm keen on doing some shows on, on the games, so it's going to be really interesting. Can you show me in the game please? Wh what do you mean, what do you mean by that, um, Warrior? Oh shit, it's Yankees it's it's like is down and out. I'm doing a beer pro at the moment and enjoying that. So, what what position are you playing, um, Regan? Are you playing nine or center? Or where, where did you go? Find. I've played like maybe six on my game. It drives me crazy, yeah. Now look, it, it drives me crazy as well. I just feel... <laughs> Look, nothing against some of the some of the other top um, online players. I mean, obviously, I have been beaten now a couple of times as well. But to be honest, I don't think Release. I consider myself as a very good um, rugby challenge player, and I just feel that if it wasn't for the lag, I would probably stand a very good chance of winning every single game but then again you'll never know i've chose to be a winner um lemon jason said how high are you i'm really good and you man um warrior how do you how to set your kicker in the pocket advantage over ah okay i will do that in a bit let's just set up a ruck quickly and then i'll show you so, what do you guys, for those of you who've played pro, what do you guys think of this indicator that's running so bloody fast? Not straight. Because sometimes it gets really annoying that the indicator is the main focus of the lineout. There's so many other ways to to Ouch. actually compete for a lineout Fine. than to use this indicator, Sit. and it's it's really frustrating. It's maybe one of the mechanics that they should do away with. I really enjoy watching your channel. Uh, I really enjoy Thanks watching your channel. It. Thanks for doing it. It's always a pleasure, man. I, I I love what I'm doing. I I enjoy making videos. It's a passion of mine. Not just not just gaming videos. Um, I try. Oh well, I want to try and bring you guys rugby as a whole. The fact that my live streaming has been banned and I had two copyright strikes just kind of limited the the possibilities that I had to to actually do decent content for for rugby. So hopefully now that that's that's out of the way, we can we can do some proper proper um, videos regarding that. Ooh. Right, let's drop that 10 back into the pocket. You just press on your D-pad, you go deep, and you push back. You see? Okay, but he threw. He put Roberts now in that position. So you actually need to have your fly off 
in position as well if you want to do that. Advantage. Oh dear. Okay, Regan says he chose the winger. A nice option. I actually, I'll show you guys a game of Be A Pro. I've been finding it really difficult on, on actually playing on Pro because yeah, you it's really difficult to play with a, with a guy that's really slow and not the strongest and not the fittest but I managed to get my player up to run about 70, 70 rating average not doing too badly for, for a number 8 but you are a little bit limited. Ah, Scott asks whether I am going to apply for the Lions tickets. Yeah, no, look, it's going to be freaking expensive here in South Africa. I was, I was thinking of doing it, but because the tests are so far away from where I live, I'm going to pay firstly a massive amount of money just for the tickets for my for myself and my child and my fiance so it's ridiculous prices for the tickets then I'll have to travel roughly 500 kilometers to go and watch the games so a lot of petrol money and then also I'm going to have to to get accommodation which is going to be a little bit more as well so yeah, I I doubt I'll rather stick to watching it maybe on TV. Um, let's see. Cannot wait for the Springboks to to to, to New Zealand. That'd be tough. Um, I was, yeah, I was had him last time. Yeah, it's an it's it's a once in a lifetime opportunity. I don't know. Maybe I'll I'll go. I'll apply. Who knows? But as it is at the moment, I just don't see see myself paying that much just for 80 minutes of rugby. You guys know if that makes any sense at all. Right. So let's try and put. Yeah, the fly-off is not in possession at the moment. Oh dear. <laughs> Excuse my my gameplay, guys. Concentrating to to talk to you guys as well and play. So I haven't been doing this for for quite some time. Just need to get used to to it again. How much are the tickets in estimate? Police. Well, for the worst ticket, you're going to pay... Sure, I'm not sure, man. I don't want to lie um, and give you more or less an idea of how much it will cost. But obviously for South Africans, it's going to be a lot more expensive compared to the euro and the pound. Our deck that one zero is not that good at the moment. Hmm. So Pollard was injured playing for Montpellier tonight. Yeah, we're getting a little bit thin on players now. We've now lost Lewitt, the Jager, and Erges Neyman already. Although our lock um, factory is quite good. Replacing Andre Pollard at fly-off is going to be interesting. Willemser haven't proven himself as a fly-off. Um, Kevin Bosch has been good for the Sharks, but again, defensively, I have my doubts about him. I just feel defensively he could let us down at, at a vital time. Then Alpen Yankees haven't really proven himself at test level really we know he's a fantastic super rugby player but he hasn't convinced me that that he's a quality test player if you guys know what i mean and then looking at some of the other options it gets a little bit thin um 
yeah, so it's going to be very interesting to see. Scott says start a go, start a go fund me. Well, where where can I do that, Scott? Um, I'm not used to to those platforms. Yeah, films and Bosch don't have too much experience at international level. Well. Advantage. Yeah, on the one hand, they don't have experience. Um, one problem with that term, I think, would be the only way for them to gain experience is by playing Crouch. at international level. So, yeah, but still, I don't... I don't know, it's just difficult to... to see... How can I put it? If you're going to have Ardy Sevilla Release. or for any big player running on to, to Bosch the whole time, it's going to really take a toll on him. And I don't know for how long he'll be able to keep that up as well anyway. And then Robert De Pria will probably not be considered for some reason. The coaches never get along with him. I don't know why. So that's another concern. Can't go with Mornay Stain. He's just so predictable. And yeah, he's, he's way past his prime anyway. Uh, oh, that's not good. But it's going to be really interesting to see who they opt for if... If Pollard is out injured for for long term, what do you guys think of the set plays in Rugby Challenge 4? Again, there could have been so much better options for the game. Personally, I just feel it's a little bit dull, if I can put it that way. There's not as many choices as Rugby 20, and it doesn't run... Well, it runs smoothly Have enough, but it's so computerized. Before. Have you tried the 8-player thing yet on Rugby Chance 4? No, I haven't. Is that actually a, a thing at the moment, Regan? Because I'm not... Yeah, I haven't tried it, so I won't know whether it works. But my, my initial thoughts were that you can only play up to two players or what is it four players now have they actually set it up so that you can play with with eight friends or seven friends i'm not so sure but yeah i personally don't enjoy the online mode too much i don't play it as often i'll play quite a few games um with well two players in specific that I do enjoy playing against is Ben Jones and Redna. I find the competition really good. But again, sometimes the lag is a worrying issue. Gotta go. My train starts at 9. And lasts for 2 hours. Goodness. Yeah, you don't want to know, Scott. Um, I don't know if it's there I'm so unfit so overweight and so unhealthy at the moment this lockdown has been absolutely terrible for me so yeah um, enjoy your training tomorrow man and really hope it all goes well um, maybe you can motivate me in the next couple of days to maybe start training again Right, what did I want to go and yeah, let's go and have a look at my BF Pro. I actually want to do a series on it. So while I'm still building up, we can go ahead and play. I've actually started with the Sharks and then after I think it was three seasons, I actually moved to Treviso because my contract was expiring with the Sharks and I was worried that I couldn't um, renew it Thanks so I went to Treviso and yeah now I'm stuck here at Treviso at the moment 
Scott says thanks I'll see you in your next definitely definitely man I'll check um, what time is the Pro 14 final tomorrow maybe I can actually do a live stream on that no promises I'll try and do my best um, in my second season no your second season yeah it takes quite a while to to build up your player and yeah I the beer pro for me I can't say I don't enjoy it but it's just you get to do your task and you do it but you don't get the rewards I don't know if it's just um, on pro level that it's like that so it's 19.35 UK time, so that's, well, an hour. I'm an hour in front of the UK, I think. So that's going to be 18.35, half past six. So that could be manageable. Um, yeah, let me see what I can do. Um, if I do live stream it, guys, it will probably, I'll have, a, have it scheduled by let's say 1 1 p.m. SA time if if I don't schedule it then you guys must know it's it's not gonna happen but I'll try my very best to to do a live stream tell you guys what's going on there I haven't watched any Pro 14 so it could be nice watching the final it's Ulster against Mon no Ulster against Leinster in the final do you guys think Ulster can can upset? Um, let me just quickly change this display. Let's just go to behind. Do you think Ulster can beat Leinster? No problem, uh, Gregor. It's just, uh, yeah. <laughs> no, I I don't hold that against you. Definitely, if if you're able to watch it then it doesn't make sense to to watch my live stream you know what i'm saying but yeah if you want a quick chat at half time do pop in if you want to discuss what happened feel free to join yes as an ulster fan there was actually fake news doing the rounds saying that um will jordan was going to join ulster and the moment i saw that i didn't even look if it really was fake or not Madigan but the moment I the saw it and I think it was actually you that sent it to me Gregor um, my first initial thoughts were, well that's interesting because he's at the brink of becoming an all black and and if you play for if he's going to play for Alster then he won't be able to play for the all blacks that was my first thought and the easier four tag team tactic steps then stars yeah, just to just say that would be cool playing as a combined team of friends. Yeah, I'd imagine it would be. I like I said, I've done it uh, a two-player one, but not being used to it, I found it pretty difficult because I'm so used to controlling everything. Um, I hope Ulster will beat Leinster, but with Leinster's form. Well, look, fairy tales do happen. Um, upsets do happen. I personally also hope Ulster can beat them. It will kind of break the Leicester dominance, if you know what I mean. Oh dear, ball not released. Crouch, find. So Set. yeah. Um, going to be really interesting what do you guys think of the English Premier League who's been who's been following that I know the Bristol Bears are probably my or not my favorite but a fan favorite at this stage obviously um, I think they've been playing pretty well um, it's no surprise that I'm a Sale Shark supporter because they've got mainly South African players there. So I'm definitely backing Sale Sharks. 
but they they're a little bit um, how can I put it inconsistent because one one day they'll play absolutely fantastic and in the next game they'll be absolutely horrible so yeah it's kind of release a bad situation that they find themselves in but I do think if there's anybody that will give Exeter Chiefs a go it's going to be um, the likes of Bristol Bear or Sale Sharks Crouch what do you guys Find. Harlequins are my two teams ah. Harlequins I haven't seen too much of so like I said I haven't been following any rugby I've basically the only knowledge of the games that actually play is the ones that I see on the news afterwards I have injured my thumb when so, I was playing rugby yeah so I've injured my thumb when I was playing rugby so I'm screwed well <laughs> When when did you last play rugby? Yeah, thumb injury is a little bit, but it's you can easily overcome it. Doesn't take too long to heal. So the moment you you tear an ACL or something, that's when you really screwed, Jason. Ah, oh, they freaking replaced me. Yeah, uh, I'm absolutely terrible at be a pro. I I have considered maybe moving down a difficulty level, but I try to match myself on on the best level. So for that reason, I st I st I'm sticking to to the pro level. It's just getting used to it and actually. Guru Xbox no it's it's on PS4 um, I always imagine myself getting an Xbox at some stage in my life um, but somehow I've just always stuck to to Sony um, definitely should have been growing more. up Did starting with PS1 about it on and Twitter. then just moving up all the way up to PS4 so yeah, I was thinking maybe to get the Xbox now when it comes out, or is it already out? I'm not sure. Instead of getting the PS5, but then on the other hand, I just decided, to uh, let's just, yeah, if I do get something, I'll probably go with the PS5. Did you see what Bucky Spurter tweeted? No, I didn't actually saw it. I just saw on Facebook that they said Bucky's actually um, said something about it. What did he say? Um, 
because coming from a guy with with his reputation um, if it was him he would have put time players as well or only PS4 I need to go to the dock see ya I need to go to the dock see ya okay cool man Jason thanks for tuning in appreciate it so much man yeah interesting times for for all rugby um, it's going to be interesting to see um, what competitions is going to last and which competitions is going to come in new Martian, what Owen done was wrong and maybe he deserved it but he reminds me of a young Wilkinson has a great boot and always played with his heart on his sleeve in defense and attack Hmm. That is, yeah. That's a very orthodox um, feeling towards Farrell. Look, I I agree. He's a he's a phenomenal player, you know, um, James. But yeah, probably if he was a South African, I would have loved him because I personally was was a big fan of Butch James and yeah he was probably not as good as Owen Farrell currently is but he was a really really valuable asset at the World Cup way back in 2007 and he used to tackle the crap out of the player but considering that if if it was him who made that tackle he would have been banned for eight to 10 games so I don't mind look Farrell is a really good player he's just very arrogant but he's a really good player and, and I do I do agree with everything that you said I just feel that every player needs to be um, banned in the same appropriate way and not um, get an advantage of any sort over another oh dear I'm playing terribly at the moment reading the messages and playing really need to to get used to it again um, Regan we can we can definitely look have a look at it maybe tomorrow night um, it will probably be around the same time now um, say it was him, it would be longer of a band for until <laughs> yeah, probably it's been given a green light, but some of them are not guaranteed to go yeah the big the big problem with the rugby championship and the eight nations, yes, they've somehow somewhat confirmed the competitions, but the competitions have changed so much and there's been so many rumors that you don't really know which which ones are true and Police. which ones are not hey um, at the end of the day it's going to come down to what actually is going to happen because they Police. can say rugby championship and then South Africa and Argentina won't go and then suddenly it's not a rugby championship anymore it's going to be more like a Bledisloe Cup tournament between New Zealand and Australia then and the same with the proposed eight nations Police. now with Georgia and Fiji joining in on that competition Police. it's we've heard it South Africa uh, there was rumors that South Africa would join there was all sorts Police. of rumors and stuff so I'll probably believe it when I see it Okay, then the problem with how it happens too often is so reckless. Yeah, and you, you know, maybe now he'll, he'll start to realize he needs to, to actually um, play a little bit more careful because in the past he hasn't been punished appropriately, so... I would say the moment you realize that listen is player than he currently is. Release. That was the same same case with Butch. He was so reckless, he used to make 
thumping tackles and I absolutely loved to watch him play but he wasn't that good the moment when he started to to actually control his um, tackling he became a better player so I think the same goes for Farrell he can become one of the best fly offs ever to play the game and this is coming from a South African uh, fan, not an English fan. Um, I used to watch Two Cents, but as of late, I haven't really had any time um, to watch at all. Um, even I'm so glad my, my ban is lifted because I haven't uploaded a video in, in two days now. <laughs> Just haven't had the time. Every time I, I I think I got time, then something comes up and I have to do something else again. Crouch. But, Find. yeah, I I used to watch Two Cents Rusty Sit. quite a lot. Same with, with Gareth Mason. I enjoy his videos. He's such a passionate guy. Um, unbiased, I haven't really watched. I've watched Place. a little bit of Squid, and yeah, that's that's about it. And then I always look to to watch some of the the newer guys because it's always there's some gems Not out releasing. there that doesn't get the support that they deserve. If that makes any sense, because there's quite a few new YouTubers that's got great ideas. Um, when I say new or yeah, newish YouTubers with not so many subscribers. Um, they've got actually some really decent um, thoughts on the game. I'm actually thinking of doing a few collaborations with them at some stage. Because they do add value to the rugby world. You know, being a rugby YouTuber is not easy. And I've just been blessed with the fact that I can I can actually um, play the g the rugby challenge game as well, because in a way it's also rugby rugby based, you know. But if I didn't have that, I would have had to rely on rugby, and it's really really difficult because there's only so much you can do. Yes, you can live stream the you can live stream. Um, your reactions to the game you can chat about the game while it's playing but you're not actually allowed to to go out and live stream that's why I got banned in the first place so yeah if you don't have that right you can't stream a game and yeah if you don't have enough supporter base you can't just you can't stream and and maybe you get lucky and one or two people watch a stream for me, it would bore the hell out of me just to to sit there and talk to myself, you know? At least now I know, I would say anything above three. If you got at least three people watching, it's worth it at the end of the day. Yeah, no, look, it is what it is, um, James. Only Farrell will be able to change the way he actually plays, so... Mm, got a couple of good off, good handling, good passing. <coughs> so if there's one thing you guys can change about Rugby Challenge 4, what would it be? What would you guys say could have been done differently or could have done um, better? Because I've got a long list and Release. that's mainly one of the reasons why I haven't done a review on the game just yet. Because I want to see what they bring to the table in their updates and stuff. Because maybe there's something that I want to mention that's still going to come. Who knows? So, yeah. But for me it's just so frustrating at the moment. The main problem with Rugby Chance 4, they were very lazy in so many ways. They could have made this game really phenomenal if they wanted to. And now I don't, I'm not talking about major overalls. 
just slight changes to a system that is not bad. Um, do you think it's better than rugby 20? Now, look, I I had to do a video on rugby 20. Well, not a video, but I had to take a scene from rugby 20 for research purposes. So I played a little bit of that last night and yeah, it was terrible. I didn't enjoy it. Some some things of Rugby 20 was quite nice, but unfortunately the idea was there, but the execution was poor. Set. Um, watching your rugby pro game in the video, Torius Rogue. Thank you, buddy. I appreciate it. I enjoy I enjoy making these videos. Um, I think that's the main thing when when you've got a YouTube channel that that you do gaming, especially rugby. You must enjoy it, and you well, you actually need to be good at it as well if you want your viewers to enjoy it. So, luckily, I'm blessed with with decent skill on a game like I said probably not the best out there but I think I'm good enough to actually give you guys a really good show every time I play it so yeah thanks for the support there Notorious Rogue I really appreciate that um, loads of things can be made better but for me there are too many interceptions and forward passes and turnovers as well yeah, that's just free to mention, really. Um, intercepts you can turn off. Um, forward passes I actually turned off here. Because I'm just against it that every single second pass or third pass is a forward pass. I, uh, yeah, so I turned that off. As far as the turnovers are concerned, yes, there's way too many. Um, from both sides you can adjust that slider whichever way you like you are not going to stop it some people say it's all about the pots I I still don't get it and for me the pots aren't Release. even that accurate so I just don't get it guys Release. to be honest um, one guy swears by it says it's all about the pots other guys just say basically you got to uh, button smash the crap out of the buttons. I'm not that fast with my fingers. So you're always going to get massive turnovers at unwanted times both ways. There's sometimes I feel cheese like if I wasn't able to turn over this ball like for instance now and the AI were a little bit smarter they could have actually gone on and score a pretty good try so yeah um, Warrior says um, they could improve set plays and more licensed teams and gameplay yeah, um... I've uploaded a new team on the fan hub open at one Crowd. point. <laughs> Find. Uh, yeah, to... Set. To improve the set plays, they need to make it a little bit f uh, faster and smoother. It should run a lot faster than it is running at the moment, so... So, yeah. Um, definitely can add a couple more set plays. There are so many set plays and I mean if Rugby 20 can do it, Rugby Challenge can do it way better. I'm almost sure of that. Then uh, one thing I add in the ability edit the pre-made tournaments within the game so you can update and be used in Korea. Yeah, no, I agree with you James. Um, it is a small issue, so maybe it's something that they'll fix. I don't know. Honestly, don't think we're going to see too many updates in this game. They promise us the world, but give us very little in return. Then Rugby has joined in and asked me when I'm going to watch Stranger Things. I heard it's such a good um, series. I'll definitely make a plan. I'll probably 
Yeah, it's gonna be difficult. Maybe on s oh dear. Maybe on Sunday I'll start. I'll tell you Not how strike. it is. Um upload a new team on FanUp Ultimate 15. Feel free to download it. Yeah, I'm I'll probably not download at this stage. Um nothing against nothing against your team Regan. The main thing for me is Crouch. You got a limit. Bind. I'm not sure how much the limit is Sit. to what you can download. And for me, it's going to take probably a year before the guys have got a decent fan up going there for me. I think the moment we're going to get the PC players to to actually start working in that fan up, um, I'll probably try and stay away from from the fan up created teams. J yeah, eleven J said when I score a few tries in rugby I often end up chasing chaining sides to keep it competitive sometimes just too easy even on pro yeah look um, depending on on how many minutes you play I don't know sometimes you just have to try and make it more interesting for yourself you know <laughs> Uh, yeah, Rugby says it's weird seeing your live stream again. Feel like I'm back in January, February. Yeah, man, it's it's been so long. Updates it's been three months, and five year old yeah, hopefully updates. on Monday or Tuesday. Um, what's that? Yeah, um, hopefully on Monday and Tuesday, I've got my camera, so this stream will be a little bit more personal let's do the salty sharks against sales sharks who do you guys back to win this yeah so yeah i got the camera we're going to do proper live stream i think it's going to be tuesday i'll set it all up and we're going to have some very nice live streams coming up man Definitely looking forward to doing a collaboration with you again sometime, Rugby. It's been it's been ages. Um, Lawless Original says updates are like modes, ain't they? Even five-year-old game get updates like Skyrim with Tekken Seven. Who wants Rugby versus Rugby Guru? Yeah, well, look if. Well, not if the game is called Rugby 20, because there's absolutely no updates anymore. Um, when myself and Philip sent upon you to be reunited. Yeah, James, you know, the only reason why you guys are such a strong center combination is because you guys actually created yourself and I just downloaded it. So there's quite a big difference in the rating compared to to the rest cuz the ones that I actually created I put on a rating of 61%. So it's just your average um rating for for a custom player. <laughs> Who wants rugby versus rugby guru? <laughs> if sales sharks were to really play sell sea sharks, what will that be on rugby vipers. challenge four? I would like to see sea crusaders be Leinster though. Who? So. Do you really think sales sharks would be able to beat my my lovely sharkies? Well, look. Okay, ignore it's a bit. I actually bought him in career mode. Um, but apart from that, the rest are basically the same players you would normally find in the Sharks team. Yeah, look, the Sharks have got a few youngsters, but they've been doing pretty damn well. And if you look at the sale, the Jean-Luc, Dan, Robert, the Priya combination, Kunio Stazen. 
got some pretty good South African players out there. Rugby challenge four. Ooh, I just want to ask if RC cross platform or not. <laughs> Rugby challenge four. When do you want to set that up, uh, Andrew? Could be quite fun. <laughs> Um, Guru, I just want to ask if rugby cross platform or not. No, unfortunately, it's not. Um, it would the fan up is game. cross platform, but the game itself isn't, unfortunately. I just. Yeah, that's probably something that if there's another rugby game, should definitely be considered. And I don't know if it will be rugby coming from Wicked Witch or even um, Nacon or Big Ben. I don't think they've got the ability because the fact that Rugby Challenge runs on Unreal Engine just makes it so much more difficult for them. Release! It's a good platform, it's a good engine to have for cross-platform, but not the greatest of engine for a sports game. It would be an interesting game. Lawless rugby, it's the lag, bro. you got to kick the balls to stay in the play. <laughs> yeah, lag can be so frustrating at times. I found it the other night, I was playing a really good player and although the lag wasn't bad, there was definitely a delay in my players joining the bloody ruck and it didn't seem to be a problem from his side. He almost stole every single ball of mine at the ruck and I do, I do, uh, Admit, I'm not the greatest when it comes to rucks, but geez, like stealing every every single ball, just get the ball and it's get turned over. It's like I need to keep the the ball in play for the whole uh, time I've got possession, just for him not to steal it. Advantage. Oh dear. Right, so Warren says it's like to watch your streams and thanks. Yeah, it's a pleasure, bro. Definitely, we'll be bringing you guys more stuff out soon. Do you think the kicking is too easy? Is that now the goal? The goal kicking, yes. Um, the mechanic itself, I don't like at all. I find it very easy. Sometimes, yeah, I can't really say because. So sometimes I don't get the timing right, but overall the kicking mechanic for for Rugby Challenge 4 was terrible. I I would rather prefer Rugby 20 um, goal kicking mechanics. Okay, so they're going to go for goal. What do you what do you guys make of the stadiums? Um, would you guys prefer having full stadiums to reflect the game of rugby and in a better light, or do you guys prefer having to see these empty stadiums reflecting the true outcome of what could be possible at a stadium? Are the Sharks your team? Yeah, I'm a big Sharks fan, um, born and bred Sharks fan. Um, the moment I s laid eyes on this on this team, I just fell in love with them, and I've been supporting them ever since. We've had some rough times, really good times and really bad times. My best memory probably was what would it be um 
The fact that the Sharks won the Curry Cup in 2008 after a very long time not winning it was one of the greatest memories but just a year before I would say was probably my worst memory when the Sharks lost to the Bulls in that super yeah it was the super super 14 final they had the game they absolutely blew it Francho Stein just had to kick the ball out and he couldn't even do that so yeah that was really one of the most saddest moments in rugby history for the Sharks but yeah they're a brilliant team um, just unlucky when it comes to super rugby right what can I think of that irritates the crap out of me regarding rugby challenge 4 the intercepts how about the intercepts I've seen a lot more intercepts in the game I know it's it's something that can be set advantage but one would one would feel that on average when you got custom sliders and stuff that the game would probably would probably be Crouch. a lot better flowing um, and for me Set. there's the three things the interceptions the forward passes and what else what did we also say was was quite annoying and the knock-ons jeez like it's like a knock-on occurs almost well not so much in single games but when you play your career mode or you play online there's like a hell lot of knock-ons sick online games I've been telling them um, how I would beat you if if there was no well if we had to play on one cons console I would probably kick your ass every single time what do you have to say about that Ben <laughs> No, I'm just joking, bro. Don't take it seriously. Ben is probably, for me, the best, the best rugby challenge player I've ever, ever actually played against. Hey, Ben. I I really enjoy playing against him because he's not just. <laughs> It's not abusing the mechanics, you know. He's actually trying to play a decent game of rugby. And I appreciate that so much. Then just playing against a guy that abuses the mechanics. Ah, set the wind in the game like strong, very strong, extremely strong. Well, yeah, that's that's something that they need to to really bring in. Because for me, the wind has hardly had any effect. I think in the beginning, there's, if there's like really strong wind, you could miss a kick, but it hardly ever happens. Now, they need to set proper wind um, in the game so that it really affects the way the players play. For instance, if there's a strong wind blowing from left to right, um, the team playing the right side gets more fatigued because they're running up against the wind and the team with the wind behind their backs it's just a little bit how can I put it more energetic um, that would be a cool feature but probably hard to implement into a game but yeah definitely um, what about snow in a rugby game what do you guys think that's something that will be appealing if you actually add snow um, on the pitch snow falling throughout the game stuff like that maybe right the sharks are running away with the game against the sharks how oh, that sounds bad the Sail Sharks losing to the Natal Sharks. 
That sounds better. Oh, and this is another thing. The, the, the AI... Well, not just the AI. The fact that the fullback joins the bloody line... Um, every single or almost every si uh, single move frustrates the crap out of me rather keep it like it was in rugby challenge 3 where you could actually bring him in but now they're bringing him in automatically and it buggers up your whole chance because you're not watching whether your fullback's in the line the whole time or not I think your chosen team probably if they are in the AH top four. I think, I think the your AH chosen team probably if they are in the top the I think the AH stadium be full. Team we're playing away is the bottom four group. Yeah, look, probably because I just maybe, yeah, it's just really sad to see Release. an empty stadium. Especially if you're trying to, to promote the game in a global way. For instance, Release. if if you are new to the game and you play a Curry Cup game or a Super Rugby game w with the Bulls and you go and you play and you see while well, the stadium is half full, probably wonder, is that... Yeah, okay, so it's probably in real life, but why is it like that? where if you would have played the Bulls with a full stadium you wouldn't even pick it up and you would just get that really good vibe about the game this is something that is getting a lot of support you know and you can see they're, they're hyping up the game it looks great maybe I want to go to a game one day watch it live stuff like that you know yeah, that's the thing. I um, think it's the worst thing they could have done. I, it's probably something that they can fix with uh, with an update. So, hopefully they'll do that. Because it really annoys me. When I play online, say for instance against Ben. I don't want to worry about my bloody fullback being out of position. Because it's already hard to just uh, defend Ben from the get-go. And if he's running wide, I don't want my eyes on my fullback to see whether he's in the line or not. You know? So it's a really bad change that they made. Release. Probably a good thing they, they fought off. But the execution, once again, was absolutely terrible. That's the only thing I had against it. Look at that pass. Ah, there we go. That's going to be it. So, good victory then there, guys. Um, we've done a good hour tonight, guys. Um, I'll probably have to say good night to you guys. It's 1, 1 a.m. a.m. here in South Africa. Probably have to get some sleep in. And then... Hopefully the I'll see you guys be tomorrow well. for that Pro 14 live stream. Feel free to, to drop in at halftime, say hi, discuss what's happening. I know for those of you who are going to watch the game live on TV or be there. Well, I don't think you guys can be there because they're not allowed to. But for those of you watching it... Um, feel free just to drop in half time, say hi. There's probably going to be a delay of some sort. Dreams, so yeah, thanks for tuning in guys. It's been lovely being back. We've had at least 10 to, 12, to, 10 thanks, to 15 people watching time. at Have a time. A night, take care. So I really appreciate the support guys. And yeah, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do remember to subscribe. If you have, please recommend me to your friends. And I'll see you guys hopefully tomorrow. Until next time, guys. Cheers for now.